just we just bullied. I felt so bad for the enemy team that we bullied them. Man, it was it was mm. awesome. <laughs> okay, tree and axe. Yeah, tree and axe pretty strong. Um, especially because you know you root them and then you call them and then it, at the right time it's super effective. Really not a big fan of two tangos unless you pick up a salve here as well. In which case, don't think uh, maybe it would be okay. Let's see what you go for here. Um, in fact, because it is a crystal maiden. Oh, you did you? Oh, that's sad. No support. Yeah, there is a support. No, there's a tree and. Uh, yeah, but he 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 forgot to buy courier, so I just right. bought it for him. So no, man, no, don't get this. Okay. <laughs> don't waste your gold. Um, <laughs> So you had 75 gold. What you could have done here was maybe get, um, instead of getting the stout shield at the start. Uh, yeah, instead of getting a stout shield at the start, maybe start it off with two two uh, slippers of agility because you're up against, you're going to be up against a crystal maiden as the support, right? So crystal maiden is right. a range, ranged hero. going to right click you tons of times. They don't have any other ranged heroes, right? They don't have anybody in the lane who's going to be able to harass you apart from crystal maiden. And a poor man shield will block straight up block 20 damage from every enemy hero. Crystal oh, maiden wow. already does and, 38. And, and her right click sucks. Yeah, it's like yeah, 40 damage or something. Yeah. Not even 38 damage. So oh, wow. that's, that's like not even factoring in your armor, which is at the moment low, but it's still 10%, right? 11%. Right. So you've got a PMS. That means she's doing 18 damage, which, you know, is being reduced by 10%. So she's actually doing some like 16 damage to you, you know, per right click, which is already a really slow right click. So um, also, you are not going to tank creeps at level one. You know, when, you, when you've played, for me, I'm an axe player as well. <laughs> uh, like every hero player, to be honest. But yeah, um, there you go. 130, 140, 140 games with axe, right? So I'm a. Yeah. Uh, it took. It still took me about ten games of Axe um, to realize. Uh, ten games in the offlane. I don't really play Axe in the offlane too much, but it took me about ten games to realize that level one Axe is even level two Axe is super weak. And obviously, this guy doesn't understand that. Otherwise, he would just right click the shit out of you. The right click, right. the the spin damage is not that much, right? Um, the enemy will do tons of damage to you, especially if he's got the right positioning. So it is like you never ever want to play aggressively or too aggressively as a level one axe. So having Understood. stout shield, having stout shield, you're not gonna benefit too much from it. So just just wait a little bit. You'll get a PMS pretty soon. So um, also you can't call. So it's not gonna like look at that damage you took from that tower. Yeah, bunch you know, you, of damage. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that. Definitely don't want to be doing that. Don't like. It's nice what you're doing now. It's definitely very different yeah. to what you were doing before. But it's right. not the extreme, the opposite extreme. But it's pretty close to the opposite, complete opposite. You don't want to be doing the complete opposite. You want to find your uh, middle ground. But I really like that you uh, took my advice and you you're implementing it. And this is where it all comes down to it, right? You took that. You took the advice. This was a misclick. That was a mis you? misclick. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, because you were trying to take a tango, but that's fine. I, yeah. Yeah, um, go ahead. I and then I, I was also trying to teach. I was trying to teach the treant how to pull the creep wave, and so I'm yeah. going to just do it for him now. Uh, um, okay. Because I, I I subscribed to Punga and uh, Pugna and on the offlane uh, guide, they're like really get good at pulling the creep wave. So I've been trying to practice that a lot. So that that right. was not effective because that that um, yeah enemy creep wave came in. Yeah, but you still um, managed to stack it, which is good. Right. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying is that you want to kind of find the middle ground. Um, and that, that, when you go to two extremes, that's the fastest way to find the middle ground. If you are yes. like somewhere in the middle anyway, uh, you don't know the extremes. So right now you're, um, you, you're well, now you're like kind of slightly wasting your time. Um, but it's it's fine. Agri uh, yeah, there you yeah. go. Call. Perfect call. And Treant messed up. Could have could have gone out of invis. But yeah, now this is where I would have liked to have a salve because you know you you need a salve right now. You need immediate healing and also you know, e yep. eat a tango. You you're taking way too long to eat a tango. In fact, as far as tango goes, you know, look at all this time where you could have eaten a tango. All this and I time, can re regen more than half yeah. my health. Yes. Yeah, like okay, right yeah. now, yep. right now is when you your tango just finished and you're just not eating a tango. You're gonna be eating a tango now, and it's like. Insta 30, regen. Yeah, to, yeah. 
30 seconds later, one minute, 30 seconds later, you still haven't eaten a tango. You know, still haven't eaten a tango. So it's it's too long now. You know, you need to be full HP. I think we talked about the full HP part in the last last time. Um, also, uh, <laughs> that's bugged. Also, you know, calling, when you call, it's you're not going to do anything if you don't have creeps with you. And also ah, at, at yes, level... yes. Yeah, at also at level 2, not really, again, don't want to play too aggressively. Because, keep in mind, uh, it your it's pure damage, and it goes up by a huge margin at level 2. And level 1 is just 75, it's really not that much. It's, it's really Got weak, it. really weak. Like 110 damage per spin. Now that's you know doing something. You're you're you you're damaging him for a seventh of his HP every single spin, and that's actually right. something useful. Um, yeah. Now, but, can, can we pause really quick? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so we're at minute four. I'm level three. I mm -hmm. feel like I have screwed. I one thing in the offlane, I feel like I I level up so fucking slowly, and so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong there in terms of well, XP. XP, the way XP works is uh, every creep that dies, every hero in the vicinity um, of the opposite team, of course, gets equal, X, equal XP. So uh, if you and Treant are in the vicinity of a creep, enemy creep dying, you're both going to get 50% XP. So automatically, you're going to be 50% slower in the XP gain. Okay. Right? So you're not doing something wrong um it's just the nature of the new lane which you know is forcing you guys to have a lower uh xp for example this guy's level four already right but that's because right. crystal maiden has been in the lane in for jungling maybe yeah one minute right, right? um whereas both of you are going to be almost the same xp right so obviously this guy was in range of maybe one extra creep dying, whereas you weren't in range of that one extra creep dying, and that's why he's got a little bit more XP than you. Right? That's pretty much that's how XP works. Now, what you should be doing, or at least one of you should be doing, is ag pulling this this camp. Right? That's that's what you want to do in a dual lane. Um, right. So this was a great time to call, and you did, and that's a kill. There you go. Right. And then look, that Helix did so much damage. You're right. Exactly. Yep. You're level two yep. now. That Helix is actually doing some. And the biggest thing is, like, you were in the middle of a creep wave. That's, like, four, uh, that's three creeps and a Wraith King. So that's four creeps now. You've got a 20% spin chance. That means you're most likely going to spin twice in that one and a half, that's in that two seconds, right? So two, two right. spins is 200 pure damage, not to mention you're right-clicking him. Um, and this guy right-clicks for a lot. He right-clicks for, like, 100 damage, right? Yeah. So that's, right. like, 100 damage from him, 50 damage for you. This guy hits twice. That's 200 damage. You spin twice. That's 200 damage. That's 400 damage. The guy's dead. And that's a dead, and that's a dead rank. Yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I fucked up the, the, the pull here, so. <laughs> it's not about the pull. It's about you've got plenty of region. You should just go in there, call, and just take up the creep camp. Didn't right. even need to stack. Yeah. And this is a good call as well, because there's lots of creeps there. It's fine you're not going to kill him, because he is regening, so... Alright, now you should go and shrine up, because you're completely out of mana, and you're more or less out of uh, HP as well. So this is good, just just get this... Uh, you should have just... Just taken it, yeah. Yeah, just take it, and then go and shrine up, both of you. Like, pulling at this point, because the thing is, like, now you're sort of wasting your time. Because yes, you're in here, you're you're taking this creep camp, and that's all great. But you could have, you, like, the longer you stay in this lane, the more chances there are of uh, something unexpected happening, which is like exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like before, the creep wave was pushed. You know for a fact both Wraith, Wraith King and Crystal Maiden are underneath their tower. You know for a fact that that means you've got about ten seconds to take this take this stack. You go and take the stack, and then you go and shrine up so that you get more information on the map during the time that you're shrining up, right? Uh, and right. then you can come back with full HP, full mana, so that even if there are unexpected things, you're prepared for it. Yeah, right. OD versus uh, PL is one of the worst matches. Um, yeah, so now that you're wasting your time, you need to be a bit yeah. more efficient. You need to think in the future. Like, right now what you should be thinking is, okay, after I shrine, what do I do? Where do I go, right? This is what you need to be thinking, like, okay, 
after I take this creep wave, where do I go? What's my movement? What is the time? How long is it going to take me? Like this is advanced stuff. I'm not, I don't expect you to be thinking that this is something that you need to start thinking in the future. Like, okay, uh, I'm going after this Wraith King. At what point do I get back? What is the scenario do I, do I get back? So right now I would have gotten back because at this point you're not chasing anybody. So you you went right. way too deep. Now you've already gone way too deep. See, the creep wave is not there now. So yeah, this so my, is also my helix is less. Yes, okay. Yeah, also this is also why I would have stopped here because once you're out of the creep range, there's no point chasing people. So you might kill this guy, but it's like low chances, and you're diving now. Now you're diving. You're literally diving. You killed him, right. but it was very very risky. The guy didn't have yes. stun, I think. Uh, or yeah, and look, and look how low I am too. So look, the guy doesn't even yep. stun it. What is he doing? Like all he has to do is turn around and stun, but he doesn't do that. So yeah, he didn't stun me once. It felt like, which yeah. Anyway, so so the guy is bad, yeah. and that's why yeah. uh, you, you're destroying this lane so um, convincing. I'm really really not happy about you hoarding this <laughs> region. Just use oh it. Oh god, you're right. Four tangos at seven minutes. Yeah, exactly. You started off with eight tangos. The guy keeps <laughs> delivering you tangos. And you're right, still not which... eating those tangos. Not even right. those tangos. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like you started off with eight tangos and you still have six. Look, I'm still not eating it. There you and go. you're not even you, you're yep. even yep. low on <laughs> HP. So that's that's not good. If you've run out of tangos, like it's hard for them to kill you, but d don't give them uh, an opportunity. Oh, there's a spirit break in the game. He hasn't. You know what's surprising? There's a spirit break in the game. Never once charged you. There's a bounty hunter in the game. Never been in the lane. And now they charge you. And see, look, it just, right now you could have been instead of 200 HP, you could have been 700 HP because right now you just lost 200 HP. Could have been 700 right. HP. That means you just turn around and fight them. Now you don't have right. the luxury of doing that because you were at low HP. You should never ever. The only time you should be in low HP are situational occasions where it's actually worth taking the risk of dying because you're, you know, sneaking into the trees or something and leeching XP and it's not really worth um, going back to base or something like that. But for in most cases, in almost all cases, just always aim to be full HP. If you're if you're in a situation where um, you've used up all your tangos and it's like three minutes in and you still need more tangos, buy more tangos, you know, buy Got more it. HP region. I had a Luna game yesterday and um, <laughs> um, just just for an example that this is not purely yeah. to you, applied to you, it's like throughout the, um, for everybody in the in the world really. Oh shit, you can't see. Uh, hold on. Can I see? No. This is not Ooh, divine rapier. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where we won the game. Uh, <laughs> all right, can't see this. But you you felt okay to buy more regen to stay. I had ten tangos yeah. at one point, dude. Wow, in my inventory. Okay. So that's what I actually wanted to show you that it's it's completely fine if you anticipate that that's how much regen you're gonna need and go for it. It's it's completely fine. Yeah, the visage and Lena in my lane. The visage is OP anyway, and then Lena is pretty strong as <laughs> well. So. Right. And I and I had a support player who, uh, who because of the new R IO Arcana, he didn't know how to support, let alone play IO. <laughs> oh no! So, oh god, yeah. So, um, what happened here? Let's let's uh, think about what happened here. Um, you're going into the lane with 400 HP. That's one thing that happened here. And yep. you have no vision on the map. That's not your fault, yep. but that's the other thing that happened here. And then everybody comes in and you wreck, get wrecked. So. Let's imagine this situation with full HP again, right? So you're at 500, you're missing 400 HP, right? So now look at how much the stun is left, right? Look at how many creeps and illusions and units there are, right? So I could have been, yeah, if I was at full HP and also called like five seconds later, I would have had full armor and yeah. gotten at least two or three spins you, on them. Absolutely. You would have had 400 yeah. HP about this time, 400 HP, right? Remaining right. after this stun. You call right now. You definitely kill Wraith King. Uh, does Wraith King has level 6? Ah, uh, you would have died anyway. That's right. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. You know what? Maybe you wouldn't have. Maybe uh, the if you called him with your ult, maybe the amount of movement speed that you get, especially if in that spin, in, in the time that you called them, you managed to get one battle hunger off, uh, you, you pretty much get haste movement speed with your ultimate, and you, you 
could have potentially ran away. Right. It's hard to say, but you could have potentially ran away. But the right. point is that you didn't even do anything. And most of it, you, you had no opportunity to play, outplay, rather. Or not really outplay, not the real, right word, but play. <laughs> really. yeah, yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. Okay, so once again, like, you're most vulnerable when you're, like, alone. You have lots of your own creeps, but that means nothing to you. Right. Ended up being yeah, really well because of the TPs coming in. But yeah, but I, I don't know why they I, I was so surprised they dove me like that. So um, the thing is, honestly, yeah. it would have been much better if you if you TP right in the middle of their face, right? You TP right here. It's much better because you're surrounded with creeps. You immediately call them. You immediately start spinning. You like look at how many creeps they had. You would right. have killed everybody. You know, you don't got have it. any yep. fear. They have to run away. They can't do anything. You've got a lot of... But right here, you never spin. They they don't have to fear anyone. I mean, they don't have to fear you here. They isolated you. They didn't mean to. They definitely didn't mean to. I can guarantee it. Um, <laughs> but they just did a pro play right here by making sure that you're not close to your creep babe. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can see that it's not a pro play because it's definitely worth it. Just from that... Thing you basically created space in a way. Does this PL yes. die as well? Like just from those two kills, it's a 600 gold swing, and then this PL is not actually gonna die. Not to mention, I think uh, LC got her uh, ulti off as well. So there you go, right. another kill. So 600 plus uh, what is oh, that? Wow. 300 and 450. So it's 1050 need a 1k gold swing right there, and that's actually showing it here as well. So just just off of that play, the mistake they made, and imagine if you would have jumped in in the middle, you could have maybe survived, and maybe you could have gotten some of those kills. Right. Yeah. And then also, um, now I'm feeling very concerned that it's ten and a half minutes. I don't have my Vanguard, and I'm still level five. But maybe that's also just adjusting to the new changes too. So I. Uh, I don't no, know it's if you have an it, it's no you. Um, because you wasted a lot of time just running around here and there, you. You, there were so many times where you attempted a stack and you failed. Anyway, you, you, cannot, you cannot take an ancient stack. There's no way you take this ancient stack. <laughs> right, I think okay. I, I, I was smart to not do that. So. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I think. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you wasted a lot of time. That's very, very valuable time uh, that you were, you know, uh, there were three times that you were trying attempting to stack and that whole time you didn't get stacks off, I think, um, it was actually four times. You didn't get stacks off, and uh, you didn't take the stacks. The time when you started right. taking that one stack that you accidentally did make, um, you didn't actually, you know, it took you so long, you went back and forth, you took damage from CM, and then you came to Shrine, and then you were just walking around here and there. This is like, what you're doing now is good, because it's slow and steady, but at least you're taking some farm, you're doing something, right? Um, it's farm and XP. Very dangerous to TP when you don't have any HP. But at least you have mana, and that's really good. Really, really good. Really good. Yeah, now, should I have called the Hellbear? Because he did way more damage than I was anticipating, I guess. Uh, Hellbear should... always does so much damage. Um, okay. You, you, the thing is, like, you have to think about, you know, um, you don't have, the call mana cost isn't that much, right? But mm. you don't have that much mana anyway. Right? So keep right. in mind, you should always consider... That you want to make, you want to use your ultimate, so you should never ever have lower than 60 HP. Uh, I mean, mana. Um, so it's like, how many times can you actually call? Like three times, four times? So if you are not planning on using call in the near future, you go for it. Guess what's happening with that right. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I, in this game, I did realize that there was a lot of chances I had to do my ult and I didn't have mm -hmm. the mana left because I was just yeah. focused on trying to call and, and yeah. battle hunger people. All right, so in this game, um, you still have right now the choice to go for... I would have really liked you to go for fill this inventory in item slot. Uh, maybe you can go for a stick. Uh, maybe you can go for... Um, uh, 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 um, what is, what's that mana item called? Raindrops? Raindrops would have right. been okay as well. Um, but after that, you can con you have to uh, consider whether you want to go for... Uh, call? Call? Oh, Lord! Too late. I mean, I, uh, you finally did call, but it was quite late. Like, it was it was very late. Yes. Yeah. You 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 wanted to like let me let me show you the path. Um. 
So you're coming in, you're coming in, and right here, your movement, sh this is where you're going. Your move should have been this way because this creep wave is coming, right? So you stand over uh, here, you yeah. call, you get the creeps, you get Wraith King, you get this guy. It's a bit, um, and even at this point, you could have called, but you w you took too long. And you didn't get your do your alt. Use culling blade, culling culling blade. God damn it! All right. Um. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now you're completely out of mana. It would have been really nice to have your alt up. I mean your call up, but you don't. So just run away. Don't need to yep. turn back. There's nothing. Nothing happening. Don't give your allies a false sense of. Um. See what you're doing right now is you know. If I was this life stealer right now, you know, if I was this life stealer, I see you turning around right here. I see you turning around right here. I would have turned back in. Literally, I would Got have turned it. back in because I was like, Axe is running in. He's going to call. There's a lot of creeps. Ah. This is amazing. <laughs> right. He's going to call and I'm going to shred these guys. And as soon right. as I turn in, I will die. Right. See, so because this guy is so low skilled that he didn't think so much <laughs> he didn't turn around <laughs> and he was selfish and he just stayed back so yeah. uh, well that was my that was my intent and also i think i i think i might i think i was telling him get back 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 i'll defend for you that, like that was okay. my intention was just to okay. to help him so i think i was okay. telling him that so because right, again our team was incredibly community this was like the this felt like a pro match or it felt pro uh, it felt like a, just a team match because we mm -hmm. were um all talking and it was everyone was listening to each other so that makes no sense tilting either yeah that totally makes sense to me because yeah. um uh, because if you look at now this is my games uh if we look at uh Pilate here and nicholas brown is this you no you james no. comey james comey the fbi guy yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh you got fired He's he's gonna un he's gonna he's gonna be the reason Trump gets impeached. So I I'm just excited about him. Uh, so anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. The thing yeah. is, the majority of the Americans did vote for him. So who's it's, gonna it's true. Who's yeah. gonna impeach them? Uh, yeah, God. that's a good point. We'll see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the thing is, like you've ha you have been having quite a nice uh, bunch of games here. Even these two games that you lost, you were. Um, still playing support and helping out your team. So I'm assuming you got a lot of like commands or, um, you know, your toxic MMR, if you know what it is, if you don't check out my YouTube videos. I'll die. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe that has gone up. So you're getting a better quality of people. I don't feel like you're the kind of a person who would get uh, reports. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so. I last week I had fifty four commands. I have ninety now. What? Yes. Oh 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 total. I was like, in one yeah. week? How is it yeah, yeah, even sorry, possible? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you like donating sets in the middle of a game yeah. or something? No, I'm just I just laugh and make it fun and yeah. t tell people this is a fun game and we're we're gonna do great and I always go, don't worry, winning got nerfed. We can come back. And we yeah, do. winning and got so... nerfed. <laughs> you should play with me, dude. I, I play a game yeah. every, every day and uh, play with like mostly my students because I play so little that my uh, skill level is completely destroyed at this point. So, right, right. Like, I, I'm right-clicking things and my mouse position is completely out. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all about practice. It's literally all about yeah. practice. I just need to get off my, you know... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, delusion and start playing support and not play, you know, these right click intensive supports, uh, uh cores, right? Anyway, um, so here I try, I, I thought I had the, nice, perfect. I had the, yeah, okay, good, it was the right call. Oh, uh, nice, yeah. Uh, my only issue is look at your inventory, man, there's three empty slots here. Why, you know, one of them could have had a magic wand, another one could have had. Um, raindrops. You've got enough money for both of those as well. And another one could have had, I don't know, um, I, I don't even know. Uh, clarity? I don't care. Clarity is fine. Even the Ironwood branch? I don't mind. But definitely, uh, I'm going to have to slot shame you right here. <laughs> slot, <laughs> uh, <laughs> slot shame! <laughs> right. Oh, okay, because... so I guess my, my concern was, was that I, it's so crucial for me to get Vanguard and Blink. I got to save every penny. But then here's the opposite: was that 
by having that one extra stat or having that little bit more regen from a wand or whatever, I will be more efficient in my farm, thus get more money. Is that true? Absolutely. Okay. Not only in your farm, but also in these fights, because you cannot guarantee that you are 100%. If you're just planning on staying in jungle for 20 minutes, yeah, whatever, do whatever you want. Um, Got it. Okay. E even then, I even then, it's more efficient to get smaller items first. Maybe not to fill up your inventory, but just get one or two smaller items. Because think about it, right? If you've got a raindrops here, right? That's one extra, nearly one extra mana per second. You know that means in one minute, every minute, um, okay, let's say minute and a half, you're getting a berserker's call for free, essentially, right? right? Just from that extra raindrops. That means you're you can actually farm ancients a little bit more, you know, the, which means that exponentially increases your farm rate. If you're, wow. if you can actually, without that raindrops, it severely limits your um, ancient farming, for example. You know, there's only so much ancient farming you can do with your three way, calls. I hate these purple things, by the oh, way. Oh my God, I hate them too. They... <laughs> what you want to do is you want to... Glad, I'm glad Ice Rock put them in. I, I'm glad there's yeah. actually some hard ancients now, but... Yeah. Yeah. Man, they're annoying. I they had no idea. They they life they regen their friends when you stack the camp. That's what it was yeah. like. Yeah. Well, you want to back game? I got killed for that. It's like <laughs> too what many you want to do is what you want to do is you want to kill the small guys first because they're the ones who give the ten percent life steal. Uh, and not only okay. do they give life steal, they also give flat HP regen. Uh, don't okay. remember how much flat HP regen. I think it's like ten percent life steal per. Uh, creep and I think it's like six HP region per creep something like that something ridiculously high like that We'll we'll check it out next time you see them Right, I but have it's, second highest net worth. I feel like so poor right now at 18 minutes they, That's that's the whole point like you uh, You kill those ancients and you like one ancient camp is about 250 gold This is you're gonna get about 500 gold for this like let's let's have a quick look right so you you've got 2,000 gold I'm yep. ex expecting you to have about 2,500-ish, close to 2,500 gold after this. Let's see how much you have. Maybe a little bit more, actually. Uh, or maybe a bit less. 2,400, all right. So you yeah. got 400 gold from those two ancient camps. So that's a lot of gold. All right, now here I am going in with no HP. Then I decide no. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I, I'm going to do it. I got a little bit of mana. <laughs> no yeah, detection, not really, yeah. not really fantastic. Um, no, I, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I you're gonna die. Not only did you die, you gave a track kill. So yep, uh, good to know. Oh right, bounty hunter. So when you feed, it's even worse with bounty hunter. Good absolutely. call. Yeah. Like there was no need for you to be there at all. Yeah, and you then my, my poor team, they 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 got in trouble big time. You had so. the blink dagger in base waiting for you. All you had to yes. do was get to base, TP. TP to the shrine, and then you could have joined the fight with full HP, full mana, and a blink dagger. Right. And and because of that, most I'm not gonna. I don't want to blame you completely because obviously it's your team's also team's fault. But have a look at the 2,500 2, gold Ooh, swing fuck. and 2,700 yeah. XP swing, and like look at the bounty hunter from all those track kills. He got a thousand gold just from those three kills, wow. mostly the track gold. Uh, he tracked five times, so it's assuming everybody got tracked. Yeah. All right, so you should be looking to take a fight now. Right, let's have a quick look at these guys. Right, the small one, uh, this is the small one. Okay, the small one gives a 10% life steal. And, and okay. 10 HP, wow. It's, it's not aura, though. Uh, it is aura, it is aura, sorry. Yep. So 10% life steal and 10 HP region, both of these guys give everybody here 10. So the, everybody here has 20 HP region, which you can see here, and 10% life steal. So... And this guy obviously reduces your armor and um, roots you. So, yeah. But what you should be doing here is going here. You, you, your positioning right now it should be like here in the trees, and just wait for a perfect, perfect call. And in fact, you 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 get a call, even a decent call. Uh, tri Trient, ulti. Ah, see, yeah. This guy is laying out the I'm not watching the mid screen. I'm trying to focus on stacking this camp, and then that stupid yeah. centaur doesn't do it, so I fuck it up anyway. So. But I think we this guy Sugar Daddy went way overboard. So, um, you didn't get a single person in the call. Oh right. You could have ulted here. Give your whole team uh, movement speed. Wait, the whole team gets movement speed when I yeah, ult? dude. It's a AOE. It's oh. nine hundred AOE. It's like this much AOE. Uh, you know. Wow. <laughs> 
Sometimes, yeah, this, I, yeah. sometimes you can be like a bit cheeky and just if you're chasing somebody, just call a creep, and your whole team is just gonna run so much faster. It's about forty percent, thirty, thirty uh, percent move speed bonus. Well, that's huge. And thirty attack speed bonus as well. Keep in mind for six seconds. Oh my god, that's huge. Yeah, that is. I'm like not taking advantage of that whatsoever. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. you should be doing that. You don't need to keep doing them because I don't know if they stack. Not sure if they stack. Um, and this guy came it'd in. It'd be quite OP if they stack. So you have blinker available. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, but yeah, there's miscommunication, of course. Yeah, but we, 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 I think we get deal. the kill anyway. And oh, there you go. Look, everybody's got everybody's moving Oh, faster. yeah, and the creeps get it too. <laughs> yeah, every everything, actually. Every unit. Oh. That's pretty cool. oh, thank God you didn't call. Don't think yeah. you need to call here. Oh, you did actually need to call. Because he, he was going to go invis. Yeah, I thought he just went invis previously. Well, that's fine. He had enough mana. Yeah, but the reason what uh, this play here was pretty big, where you TP'd here, uh, sorry, where you TP'd here and went to the ancients, because you had the blink dagger and the enemy team was entire entirely in your underneath your mid tower. You know, you just have a blink dagger. That's a blink reveal. That's you should take full advantage. The enemy team is not expecting you to have a blink dagger right now. You've got a blink dagger. Their their positioning is even though this is one k, doesn't matter when when an enemy team. When you have a blink dagger and the enemy team knows you have a blink dagger, they, some of them at least, uh, most of them probably, will be playing thinking acts as a blink dagger. Right? And their positioning will change. Um, probably not. True. <laughs> probably they'll forget, but maybe right, maybe right. they won't. Maybe they won't, you know. Um, I sure hope they do think about it <laughs> sometimes. I've got some um, students who are 1K and they do definitely think about these things. But point is that um, you should have been there. That's the main point. Yep. No, because that's the if you probably you're seeing from my player perspective. I'm I'm I get tunnel vision. I'm not looking. Yeah. Because I really because I'm such an FPS player, right? So like I just look yeah. at my cross here in the middle of the screen. Like yeah. I realize RTS is you're constantly looking around the screen, and that's you're what, so constantly I, I looking at the mini map. Yeah, right. yeah. This screen could be as small as the mini map, and the mini map should be this big. Right. Like if you watch the um, cameras of pro players. You, oh, that dude, they, is... they're barely they're barely on their on their yeah. um on their hero. They're always yeah. uh, like like are you not even playing the game? But that yeah. is the game. Absolutely, they're looking more yeah. at, like they're, they're mostly on the minimap as you said. Alt, there you go. Not alt. I mean the call. Uh, it's it's really rough that as soon as you call tree and ulted because it doesn't combo. Right. Because uh, nobody can attack you, and then you're not yeah, spinning. I think... I think we're we're so strong that it just didn't matter. But yeah, yeah still. What what should have I either either tree? Oh, <laughs> I flinked up there by accident. <laughs> uh, I either you wait for Trient's ult to finish, or he waits for you. So probably right. I don't know. I think I think he called after. Uh, he ulted after you called, so that was his mistake. Yeah, then we get nothing the you can do about it. Yeah, it's, it's fine, that, it's good. And I'm, I, I'm no, don't chase. Don't chase. What yeah, is this guy yeah, doing? Go hit the tower. I, I told him, I said, don't chase it. It's okay. Don't worry oh about it. And they Both still you, do of course. It. Yeah. So hungry for kills, dude. This is the objective. Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> so I made a video about this a year ago. Nobody watches my previous videos. It's actually impossible because I do a video every day. So that's 300 videos. But <laughs> point right. is, uh, I made a video a long time ago about objective gaming and how it's completely absent from the earlier tiers of the... Uh, MMR brackets, skill brackets. Um, the way you should be thinking is your objective, right? Just forget everything. Just think about the map as empty map, right? No allies. Sorry, just think about allies. No enemies, nothing, right? Nothing at all in the game, actually. Just forget everything. What are you going to do? You're going to go straight down mid, take the tier one, take the tier two, take the tier three, Raxes. Take the throne. Go to the throne, exactly. Now add in creeps. Mm, okay, you need to kill the creeps first, and then take tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, whatever. Now add in heroes. Okay, another barrier. Now you need to remove the heroes, and then take tier one, tier two, tier three. Keep in mind that your objective is a tower, and anything else is a barrier preventing you from taking that tower. If that barrier is removed, doesn't matter where they are. They could be standing behind the tower. If they are not stopping you in any way from taking tower, then don't go after them. It, a way they can be stopping you from taking the tower while being behind the tower is, let's say, Magnus with a blink dagger. 
because you can't go in because it's dangerous and you could die. So that's a different story. Right. But whoever you were chasing, that person can't do anything to prevent you from taking this tower. So your objective is keep in mind to take the tower. Everything else is a barrier. Everything else is an obstacle that you need to remove as quickly and efficiently as possible. Got so you, it. You shouldn't go greedy, go behind enemy towers to take kills. Unless it is a hero like Magnus or Tide or something like that where you want to maybe silence them or disable them. Or like four or five seconds where you get four or five seconds of free right clicking the tower. Or sending right. in illusions to hit the tower or whatever. But keep in mind, once again for the 50th time, your objective is the tower. At the end of the day, your objective is the throne, of course, but the towers... Actually, your objective is the throne. And one of the obstacles in front of the throne is the tier 4. To get tier right. 4, one of the obstacles is the oh. Raxus. Yeah, so point is, like, the, all the towers are also obstacles, really. Uh, preventing you from taking the throne and winning. So that, that pers perspective has to has to be there. Yeah, and then actually, I just saw we we called and ulti. rooted at the same time. I just saw that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not a very great ulti again because not not many nobody was hitting PL, and you don't have any chance of killing him either because there's no there's no there are no creeps. So and I think you probably did the right thing, sacrifice or carry. I guess not a he could have mm -hmm. uh, he could have gone inside you. Um, right, I think I'm tried it or it, it was off cooldown or some some something went wrong there. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. It was a pretty big goal swing though. Ah shit, missed that. Yeah, so right now what you should be doing is right clicking the small creeps. Even though it's slightly inefficient, but you know, it just takes so much longer. Yeah, that's what I was like, oh god, I'm they're, terrible they're going, <laughs> getting back full HP. <laughs> getting back their HP. So right right here you should be looking to jump in. Especially because PL is so you're so good against PL, so many targets. Uh, you know, look at that. There's seven targets right there. You you will kill him immediately, literally immediately. You will kill him within this two se three point two seconds. No, not even three minutes. You kill him two seconds within two seconds. I think you spin twice and then you can ulti him. He has under under twelve hundred HP. <laughs> so, yes. Right. The, yes. That's. So your three spins is 600 damage, and then your ulti is 400 damage. So that's he's dead. Uh, Urn of Shadows, you missed that call. Really rough. Uh, it's okay. Could have ultied her, then you would have been able to chase these guys. But you have blink dagger coming up. Maximum blink. Something that you might not know is what do you think is the range of the blink dagger? It's shorter than I want it to be. <laughs> but it's because I I always use because I. Isn't it true? It's like if you blink outside of its range, you actually mm -hmm. go less distance. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, well, I'll show you that afterwards. All right. Cool. After after this replay, um, it's rough. It's rough because uh, what you should be doing is like moving away. Keep moving away. Like stand about here and just wait for your blink dagger. And look at that. You reset the blink dagger. Right now, yeah. you could have blink called. It doesn't even matter if your ally is dead because you blink call. And you have enough mana uh, to to uh, call and ult. You can pretty much kill them. Uh, blade mail as well. Might have been a bit of a risk, but I think it was worth it. So the only time really that you should be farming is when it's downtime. You're farming way too much. Like just a few minutes ago, you were actually the second highest net worth. Look at their their off laner. Look at where he is now. This is good. And bad. It's bad because just because you're farming doesn't mean you're playing really, really great. You know, what it does mean is that you've been farming. <laughs> That's all it means. Um, right. You don't have a ton of kills. It's not like you've been racking up kills and that's why you've got the highest net worth. It literally is because you've been farming too much. And when you're farming too much, what does that mean? That means, first of all, you're taking a farm on the map, which means your cores have less place to farm. Secondly, that means that you're not actually fighting. You're not creating space, which again means that first of all your cores are getting less space because you're not creating that space and secondly your cores are having to fight instead of you fighting even though you're the one who's built to fight and they're the ones who who's built to farm so then naturally they're you're, you're farming slower than they are um they would but also that they are most likely dying and having a hard time because you're the one who's farming and they can't farm and they're having they're, they're like 
feeling like, oh shit, we have nothing else to do, so let's go and fight. Which is obviously the wrong thing to do from their part, but they're too, too low skilled to, to realize that. I don't know why I paused there for the record, but... <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's going really well. Yeah. Uh, you guys are gonna get a five-man wipe, actually. Uh, I feel like you are the only one who can deal with... Uh, life's... Uh, PL. PL. Yeah. So this is another thing that you should look out for, like, who is cancer here, right? PL is the biggest... Well, PL is cancer. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who in your team... Who in your team can deal with that? Literally... Uh, there's only two things, okay, three things, one of them is an ultimate, that can deal with PL. One thing is obviously overwhelming odds, right? Not a great counter, but it is it is a good counter. Oh, yeah, should I have to do the set thing? Um, o overwhelming odds plus the Helix is like dead PL pretty much, right? It, the Helix alone is really great. And the right. last thing is obviously OD's ultimate, but that's yeah. an ultimate and you don't want to yeah. waste that and just to get rid of some illusions. And the funny thing is, I first picked Axe, so I have no idea why he picked PL into it. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really good. That's a really good point. Um, okay, no, this is... Okay, you're right. As the offlaner, I'm the initiator. I need to make space for the far carry. So that's my problem is, like, I keep just... Well, I, f I feel, like, obliged. I need to, like, buy all these items. But I realize, like, if I watch pro offlaners, they'll have, like, four staff in a blink, and that's... And they're, like, ten kills in the game. Yeah, four staff and yeah. blink is pretty rich, dude. They'll have brown boots yeah. and they'll be going for kills. Right, right, correct, exactly. So that's like, I'm forgetting. It's that. It's the the. What did you call it last week? The power timing. Yeah, power or, curves. Um, power, power curve, right? Uh, See, power still, spikes. I'm, yeah, I still feel like without like items, I'm not useful. And I'm like, no, you get mm. 40 armor when you press Q, and you insta kill someone yep. with R. The thing is, like, right yeah. now, see, you you've gone back to farming. It's this is horrible what's happening right now because you guys just took a Roshan. You know, that's a power spike right now for your entire team. Yeah, we Instead, should push mid, right? And, yeah, it, the LC is the only one who's pushing mid, who in this particular situation is the only one who's doing something wrong. Because collectively, collectively, four of you are doing the wrong thing here. Because um, the right thing to do is push down mid. Or push a lane. Or smoke and go take kills. Look for fights. Look for an engagement, right? But because right. four people decided to do the wrong thing and not take an engagement... The LC is the only one who's doing the wrong thing. So in this situation, because his team has gone full retard, the only option for him is to the only option for him right now is to go full retard. So so yeah. the point is like this Legion is the one who's actually making the mistake here by doing the right thing because he's allowing himself to get ganked here. So what you should have done definitely is gone with your team. Doesn't matter where your team is going, but right. just go with them because just go full it, retard, yeah. Yeah. No, but no no no, because yeah. you guys all split up to go and farm, um, it's telling your team that sending the message that we all want to farm. You should have been with your team. If you're just stick Sticking with your allies, not doing anything, just sticking with them, maybe taking some of their farm. It's automatically sending the message, hey, let's group up. We're already grouped up. Let's go take something. Let's go do something. We're not really farming efficiently. This guy's taking my farm. Let's go do something. You know, in in um, uh, unconsciously, this is what's going on. At the end of the Got day, it. look what's happening right now. Your three people are fighting here. One is farming jungle. Another one is pushing a lane. You know, maybe you should have been here with these guys. Then the OD is a retard. OD is right. the one who everybody blames if they lose a team fight because, hey, what are you doing there all by yourself? Right. Well, but in this right. particular situation, you're going to blame these three guys because they went in and they're all going to die. And they're going to lose the Aegis as well. And there you go. That's an that's Aegis loss. And you, as uh, like, a, you're sort of at this point, you're a support hero. All your purpose in this game is to blink call. That's the, so that's the purpose of almost all, all offlaners. Slardar, blink stun. Uh, Centaur, blink stun. blink stun. Magnus, blink stun. Pretty much Darkseer, blink vacuum ball. That's 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 your purpose. If you accomplish that, if you fuck everything up, but you accomplish that, you've done your job. Now, everything right. else is a bonus. Blink called. You could have, should have blink called. Blink yep. called that guy, he's dead. There's an entire creep wave right there. And you get your gem back and a free kill. So the main thing is like, once again, going back to your purpose... You did a great job of the early game where you were pressuring the enemy and whatnot, but now you've sort of, and it's okay because you've just started doing this thing, but now you've sort of gone back to your old style of farming, you know? Right. Um, so something to, again, keep in mind 
uh, it doesn't matter what time of the game it is, your job is your job and you need to keep sticking to your job. Now, the situation can change, obviously. The situation can change in that your carry gets destroyed, in which case suddenly you can start being a semi-carry, you start changing your item build. In fact, if I'm not sorely mistaken, uh, I think my last game, did I lose this? What was this game? Um, this was that game. If this was a game where actually we didn't have a carry because our carry was a ra uh, um, uh, lich. lich. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, it's a carry lich. It was the this guy was mid. It, mm, carry lich. Um, I think it was a carry I, lich. I heard it's it. I know he has that yeah, talent, it was, but it, and he went for no. minus. I, 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 I. Yeah. So, so because you had a carry lich, if you look at our lineup, you don't have a carry. So I, I'm like sort of forced to go for a almost a complete carry build, but look at my items, I have no HP. Literally nothing right. for HP. No Literally Vanguard, had, yeah. No, nothing. And and obviously I realize that I'm I'm not going to have HP, but at the same time, that's our win scenario. We, we're not going to have damage. We're not going to have people who kill people. You know, at the, at the other side, look at the enemy team. They've got a knock on top of that. <laughs> that's a separate Butterfly, story. Butterfly, Radiance, Manta, yeah. S and Y. Oh, boy. So, like, your the situation might change. They're like, okay, suddenly you're the carry or you're the semi carry. You're not gonna be full carry. So your item, 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 um, item build and your playstyle has to adapt to the different scenarios in the right. game. Because we have we have three carry. We have a life stealer, you have lots of legion. Carries. Yeah, we have so much damage. So you have yeah, absolutely so much damage. All you need to yeah. build, you know, even if you go for an octreen here, that's fine because that's all. What you're doing is you're saying, hey, I can blink call more. Call. You know, yeah. heck, even go for a refresher. That's a horrible idea. Never done that on Axe. Probably yeah, is a horrible yeah, yeah. idea. But even yeah. if you did that in this game, maybe something for us to see that how it actually ends up being. Because I don't think you're going to have enough mana because refresher is 600 600-ish mana, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 300 mana. Yeah. Yeah, 300 is still 300 mana. You don't... I have 680, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. No, maybe. Because... Because the thing is, like, 300 mana and still have... Uh, still, though, you, you're going to call twice. Uh, it's not enough mana, I guess. So, I don't know. Maybe you build mana boots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is so, it, any... it, in terms of the farming, here here's like the the habit or like the 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 pathology I developed mentally was that um, I watched some you know I watched Purge, and he's always about like farm efficiency. But I think that's for it's for a query, not necessarily yeah. for me, right? Yeah, not absolutely. for an offlaner. No, okay. no, no, absolutely, absolutely not. And this is why I say, like, don't just watch replay analysis or don't just watch um, uh, coaching videos. Watch the coaching videos on the heroes that you like to play or that you would like to learn. Because everything that you learn in an Axe replay is not really um, apl applicable to, let's say, an OD replay. It's com completely different things that you guys should be doing and completely different purposes that you have in the game. An OD should be farming all the time and only react when Axe is ready to fight. Or, or rather when Axe is, you know, blinking in and calling and things like that. So, right. it's like, you don't have to be efficient with your farm. You just have to be efficient with your movements, though. That's still important. Got it. Like, in this particular game, a blink force, um, uh, not, uh, I mean, blade mail is important, sure. But uh, again, this is a damage item. You know, this is this is very much a damage item. And again, you've got plenty of damage. You know, you you can be you can have life stealer infested in you every single time. You can go with legion commander. Legion commander is going to have her ult ready, uh, really really early. So you blink in. That's three point two seconds of you blink in and legion blinks in right afterwards. You blink in and call. That's three point two seconds of extra right click damage time that legion has, and then she can ulti. You know, so 100% guaranteed every single time you get a kill and a um, uh, plus uh, 16, 18, whatever, 14, 10, whatever damage. Right. And there we go. Look, at just farming away. Yeah, okay. exactly. Just farming away. That's like your, look at your item build, right? Even if you want to farm this, don't really recommend farming this much. But if you had farming items, then this would have been okay as well. But you don't have farming items. You, not only do you farm incredibly slow. And look at that. You, you're just dropping because all of these heroes, they're built to farm. They're built to farm right. fast. And all you're really doing is you're taking away the farm of this life stealer because now he's having a hard time farming in, in, right. in on the map. And he excels in the jungle because of the life steal. So and and well, the yeah. Because well, yeah. he's a core, really. Oops. <clears throat> nah, it's fine. It's fine. That happens. Maybe if you'd had a four staff, you would have been able to get that. 
But yeah, so what I was saying about the four staff, um, four staff allows you to engage, disengage really, really quickly so that you can re-engage afterwards. Because you don't actually necessarily need the blink. Like, I'm happy with the Crimson Guard, of course. That's, you know, you're, you're doing a job there. But as far as the blade mail is concerned, you're not even using it, though. Yep. Look at that. I, it's, I, I don't know why I always forget to use it. It's yeah. terrible. <laughs> Like you standing next to this guy, not really beneficial. I actually gonna die. Oh, OD saved you. See, yep. you what you should have done is, when he's dead, just move away. Just go away and wait for your blink dagger. As soon as you get your blink dagger, blink in and call. Okay. Yup, that makes sense. See, my feelings like, oh, I'll stand next to him so I can call him, but then I don't even have it. But it's better. The, the blink call is so much more effective anyway, right? Yeah, absolutely. He doesn't expect. Yeah. He's 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 gonna. Think that Axe is running away, he's gonna get false uh, information, you know, jubated actually is the word. Yes, jubated, exactly. <laughs> and that's essentially what Force Life allows you to do. You blink in, you call, you got 40 armor, you're not gonna take any damage. As soon as the uh, call is about to wear off, you force staff force away. Out. And, and like 10 seconds later, or really 8 seconds later, you're ready to blink in again. I guess you're dependent on, the, yeah, this is 10 seconds and this is 12 seconds. So you really just like 8 second cooldown on your on your um, initiations really but you can't really blink call if you're in the middle of the people right taking damage right uh, so it's impossible to blink call reposition yourself or whatever you have to essentially attempt to walk to the right place and when you're walking people can stop you from like this is the worst positioning you should you could have this is not where you want to be because again it prevents you yes axe is a tank but axe is an initiator first and then a tank right Got so it. Yes. You don't want to be standing here because your initiation is busted. What you want to be is here because what this is doing is, again, Magnus behind the tower. If somebody comes in too close, blink, uh, blink, <laughs> uh, and kill. Got it. You, you can see these scribbles, like you can see this right. red I scribble. do. I see, I see okay. it perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and also it's night. It's nighttime, so they have less vision of us sieging, yeah. right? Well, so, if yeah, you're standing, yeah. if you're standing here, they're gonna have vision, right? You're right under, because you need to be as close as possible, but without risking getting your blink cancelled, essentially. Like, look at that. Every, you net, you did not get a single blink call because people nope. kept disabling your blink constantly. Like, they're one K, but they're aware of your blink call, and they're only right. aware of your blink call if they see you. If they don't see you, you know, out of mind, out of sight, out of sight, out of mind, actually. Yeah, okay. I think we've covered we've covered everything. Yeah. Lots of definitely. material for you to work on. Uh mostly in the early game you did uh, pretty decently. There's a few like in inefficient movements. Not inefficient farm, inefficient movements. Um try to try I'm not gonna expect you to actually do this, but try to think a bit forward. Try to bit think a bit into the future. You know, pro players are thinking a minute into the future. People like me are right. thinking, you know, half a minute into the future. You, I right. expect you to be thinking at least 10 seconds into the future. Honestly, yes, it's not that it. hard. You know, um, actually, I expect you to think at least five seconds into the future. But if you can do yep. 10 seconds, which isn't that hard, that'd be pretty damn amazing. You know, um, that it, it's just going to increase your, inefic uh, your efficiency. You're just going to know where to go after you finish your current movement. Like right now, you knew where to go. Finish the creep wave and go forward. You know, if you didn't know where to go, you would have been standing there thinking, reassessing and reevaluating and thinking about what decision you should make, you know? So um, just be a bit more um, active that way. And then obviously, um, come mid game, you want to be present for team fights. And come late game, you want to have the proper positioning. You want to make sure that you're not farming too much and instead you're actually doing your job. Actually, throughout the game, you should be th thinking about doing your job. Uh, I'm not sure why you didn't call him immediately, really. Yeah, no, and that's I, I I'm was I did not call enough in this game at See, all. Battle yep. hunger. Could have should have battle hungered. It doesn't even matter who you battle hunger here. Just for the movement speed is nice. Oh, wait, yo, 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 blade mail is off, and you are dead, sir. Yep. <laughs> Four staff. Would have helped you, is what I mean. Spirit break is just too fast. Ah, he's dead though. He wants that um, kill. Um, heal. There we go. He's gonna stay alive. All right, we're gonna end it here. Beautiful.
Thank you, Em, so much.